In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the slow disk usage issue in Steam. So if you're getting slow download speeds, then how we can fix this is first opening up the Steam application, click on Steam in the top left hand side and select settings. In the left hand side, click on downloads, scroll down to clear download cache and press clear cache and then go and press confirm. Now this will go in reboot the Steam application and once you're back on Steam, head back over to the settings, click back on downloads in the left hand side and scroll up to the top. Now next to the download region, you want to go and select the region that's located closest to you. So because I'm based in the UK in London, I'm going to go and select that from this list. And you also need to restart the Steam application for these changes to take effect. You also want to make sure that limit download speed is unchecked and turned off like this. And then you can check to see if that's now solved your issue. If it's still not working, come back up to Steam in the top left hand side and select check for Steam client updates. Now just ensure that you're running the latest version of Steam. If there is an update pending here, then go and download it now. Now, if you've tried all of these solutions and it's still not working, the next thing to do is come over to your start menu and just search for indexing options and click on indexing options. From the window, click on advanced. Next to troubleshooting, click on rebuild and then go and press OK. Now click on modify in the bottom navigation. Go and select the locations that you want to rebuild. So I'm going to select my C drive and this is basically where you have the Steam application saved to and then go and press OK. And then once your C drive has been added here, we need to click back on advanced and once again, just click on rebuild and select OK. And now you'll just need to wait on this window while your indexing goes ahead. Once it's complete, that should have now fixed the slow disk usage. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.